get a cigar. Uh, it's a blondie. Happy Monday and welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. My name is Brandy. If you're new and this is my trans life. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're not new here, you're coming back. I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for your support. Also guys, you're gonna see in my bio, there is my all of my socials, TikTok, Instagram, all of those things. You definitely wanna follow those as well and keep up with me as we continue to grow on this journey. Girl, this week, honey, I am going to be so intentional about this week. So I don't know what's in store for us yet, but I do know we're going to make the best of it. It's July 1st, welcome to July. June, I would say in full honesty for me, June kicked my ass. It did, it kicked my butt so bad. And I didn't realize it until the last couple of days that, oh, wait a minute, June is knocking me out. Girl, it knocked me out, I'm telling you. I wasn't feeling good the last week. Uh, I was going through just like, triggers and stuff with like people and all of that. I was telling you guys about that in the vlogs. And I let June really take me out in a way that it, that I don't necessarily, I'm not really that vulnerable. So a lot of things have changed in my life as of late. And I think, you know, starting May 1st, I started a new job. Now remember, I was going through the process of that for a month, two, three months before that because I, I wanted out of my other job. So there was just like a whole lot of stuff going on that I didn't properly deal with. And one of the things that I realized after June kicked me out is, I need a therapist. Like, honestly, I need a therapist. Other than talking to you guys, recording these vlogs, when we do have those moments of, you know, deep conversation, I'm not really talking about my problems to anyone else, you know? Like, I might have a friend that I might speak about some things with, but like, I don't have that many friends. Um, I work all the time. And then now that I'm vlogging, I'm working and then I'm vlogging. And if I'm not vlogging, I'm working. And if I'm not working, I'm editing. And if I'm not, you know, it's like all of it is intertwined into like just being productive in my own life. And I'm really happy about that because that's what I want to do. I want to show up for myself. You know what I mean? Like I really want to show up for myself. If you're, if you haven't been around or if you haven't had an opportunity to watch any of the first videos, one of the reasons that I'm vlogging, I committed to or I decided to vlog was that this is my life this is my story i want to tell my story do you know what i mean i want to be able to narrate my life in my way and have people see my life i don't want to just be in the shadows you know and i felt like throughout my transition i've had highs and lows but a lot of it has turned into like me pushing myself back into a closet if that makes sense, you know, like I've transitioned, I feel good in my body, I feel good with how I present and all of that, but ultimately what I was starting to do was hide, hide, stay inside, duck, walk to the train, keep my head down, do all of these things. And internally, I think it was starting to self, it was starting to like implode. So I decided that that's not gonna be my life. You know, the world is changing, people are changing, and I might not have a full life of like love and support around me as far as like, I don't have a partner, I'm single, I live in New York, I'm alone, I don't have that many friends, I work all the time and I come home. I do have my dogs, which I am so grateful for, I love them so much. If you guys don't know, my dogs changed my life. Like how I was self-destructing. You know, before I got some of Pearl, girl, I was out all the time. I was at a happy hour every day. I was out every weekend and I was broke. I was spending all of my money on that stuff. I was skinny. I was just not taking care of myself well and you know, and really, really depressed ultimately. And I think I was at a level of depression that was dangerous when you're like existing in that level of depression and then you start to like accept it as like your normal, that's a dangerous level of depression to live in. And I was there. So I, I say this all the time, Summer Pearl, my dog really, really, really changed my life. I got Lucy May 
way after Summer Pearl. It was just me and Summer for years. But um, the pandemic happened. Summer and I, we were together every day, all the time. We were driving, we were doing road trips. We were going back to see my family and stuff like that. And we were just together for two years, every single day. And then I went back to work, the pandemic ended, and then she was so, so, so depressed. When I say depressed, I mean depressed. She wouldn't eat, she wouldn't move. I mean, and she wouldn't eat nothing. She might drink some water or she might, if I left, I got to the point where I would just leave the food out and she might go and take a little nibble every here and there, but she was not eating, she was not drinking, she was laying around, she was not excited. Her tail wasn't wagging. Like literally, I would go to work and come home and she'd be laying in the same spot, looking up at me like I was just asleep. Why are you, you know, she was just, really 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 depressed so i thought about my life i thought about me as a human living a single life not having companionship and what that felt like to me because i've never been happy being single you know like lately this last year i found strength in being alone and i found like a lot of the relationships that i was like forcing in my life were not healthy for me and ultimately contributed to that deep, deep depression that I was in. So I'm really happy that I found this now, but when I, when this happened, when I got, when I got Lucy May and someone was depressed, I was like, well, I reflected on myself. I've never liked being single. I know what it feels like to be a human and live this life just alone. And I felt like, you know, I don't know if a dog should just have a human companion. You, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I don't know. I felt like, obviously her even me going and coming back didn't excite her anymore so i was like oh well you know dogs should be able to communicate with another dog they should be able to live and have that like companionship and love with another dog so i was like let's get another dog so we found lucy may and it was the best decision ever it's a lot of work for me and it was a lot of work in the beginning but ultimately summer came out of her depression she's she's still she's still bitchy and moody she's always been that way but she's not depressed anymore she plays she loves lucy may they're sisters now and it makes me so happy to know that i was able to figure that out and then also contribute to like her life and i try to do things with them that contribute to their life you know what i mean like i don't feed them dog food i cook for them I take them on their walks, I celebrate them, I give them love. I just provide a good life for them as best as I can. And ultimately I feel like, you know, that makes me happy, so. So that's where we are. It's Monday, we're headed out to work. We have a few things to do today. Um, we are going to, well, we went to Pride yesterday, so we have to finish editing that video and get that up for you guys today or tomorrow. And then this vlog will continue. So I will go out. I'm not sure what's on the agenda today. Today we're going up to the Upper East Side. We are working for a few hours. Then we're gonna edit and get our vlog out, hopefully, fingers crossed. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna do laundry. I gotta get some toothpaste and some mouthwash. So we're gonna get that. I think we're gonna go to CVS or Target, one or the other. I definitely need to get that. Um, I gotta order some stuff off of Amazon that I really need that I've been procrastinating on. Um, like an ironing board, which I don't have, and I really need it, and just some other things. So let's get out of here and get this vlog started. Um, yeah. All right, I'm here at work. Let's get some. I guess you guys can see me. I stopped and got a bagel. It's half toasted. I mean, it's toasted, but with half cream cheese. I got jalapeno cream cheese because I like it spicy. Honestly, honestly, it's not that great. The bagel itself is good, but I guess it's okay. Mmm. Have a call. All right, guys, we are in Target getting ready to pick up some things. Remember earlier, I told you guys we're gonna get some toothpaste. One thing about this Target, the lines going line, honey. The lines are going to line in here.
one thing I'm gonna tell you about this Target is everything is so like a maze. It doesn't even make sense, really. Where's toothpaste? It's toothpaste. So much. Perfect. Thank you. Um. Oh, you're gonna have to help me. Yeah. Can I please do, let's do this two pack. I actually need to get a brush, but I get weird about which brushes do I want? I get so weird about it. Perhaps, let's try this. And I'm hopeful that it doesn't hurt. And then we need to get some, not Listerine, because I don't know what that is. It pulls something I don't like. Let's get some Scope. That's always better. Okay, so Scope has alcohol in it. I am pretty sure I used Scope before, but I don't want to chance it again. So we can either do this, which is alcohol-free, or we can do Tom's, which is alcohol-free. Or we can do Listerine, which is alcohol-free, which I hate. And what is this? All of that has alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. Winner of the rinse. Okay. Now that we have all of that, we're going to find our... Oh, guys, remember I told you I needed an ironing board? Look. But I dare not carry that home with me. I will order it and have Amazon deliver it. We're gonna find it downstairs because I wanna pick up some fruit that's like cucumbers and stuff. So my new thing, let me tell you what my new thing is. My new thing is actually going to be just, where do I go down? Where's down? Oh, thank you. My new thing is actually going to be eating protein with, I look a mess today, don't judge me. Protein with like a cucumber, tomato, something raw. Raw crunch for me. That's what it is. That's what it has to be. All right. So many things to do. All right, guys. So that was a major, major fail. I could not. I didn't realize that the grocery store here was so small. They don't have produce. So I'm going to go to Whole Foods and get the cucumber and the tomato. And since I'm there, I might as well get a frozen pizza. Because I love them so much. She's going to eat her pizza, honey. She's going to eat her pizza no matter what. She would cut out her sugar, but she is not. Oh, look how cute this bag. I think that's a cute little work bag. So cute. Blue, not my color. But it's a nice little Bottega dupe, if that's what you're into. Okay, she's getting in the line, and then we're going to Whole Foods. Okay, we are all set. And now we're going to Whole Foods to pick up some food that we're definitely going to need. I hate it when I see fine men because I hate it when I see fine men because I cannot stop. I cannot stop myself from looking at them. And you know what? That's like, this is a part of me that I'm getting more comfortable with too because it doesn't feel so shameful to be attracted to people or recognize someone's beauty. You know, it's okay to admire 
beautiful just as long as it doesn't like cross a line or anything i think it's totally okay so um yeah oh new york city on a monday is lit but one thing it, it does feel nice out here it's not hot or anything like that it's just like there's a cool breeze i would want to be outside on a day like this why not i just i want to go home and go to sleep look at that little pink shawl oh, little pink shawl so cute Okay, let's go to Whole Foods. I'll pick you guys up there. All right, so we're in the Whole Foods now. I'm gonna be a bag lady before it's all said and done. I'm sure of it. I feel like sometimes I mean like, I'm just so attracted to sugar. Oh. Should I go up? Is it safe? It's safe. It's okay, thank you. The elevator's off, escalator's off. I'm like, I don't want to step on it and it just go sliding down or something because he was turning it with the key. Um, but it's safe. So, yeah. Let us get some stuff. All right, guys. So, so far, we have tomatoes, plums, and cucumbers. I know it looks weird, but that's what we have. This is the pizza that I absolutely love right there by Rayo's a brick oven pizza. I put black olives on it and sometimes green peppers too, but that's the one I love and that is definitely the one we're taking home today. All right, so we just need one last thing and that is the Dr. Bronner's soap. Now, that's the soap that I use for the dogs when I wash their paws. Every single time that they come in, we are using that. It's, it's Look at that. If you ever want a lobster claw, they're eighteen. They're here for nineteen, and then you can get a pea shell for thirteen. Yeah. Pretty good deal. This is where I have to start getting my fish from when it's time to actually cook fish. But I'm not in the mood for that today. Not in the mood for that today. Today we're gonna do pizza. Um, Last thing, Doctor. Oh, here it is. So this soap is so expensive, but it literally works for them. You need to find something that's more like a dog soap, but I haven't yet. So for now, we'll stick with this. This is the Dr. Bronner's there. I like all of them, but today we're gonna get rose in the spirit of summer. Okay, so we have everything we need. I think we're all set. We are just going to check out, using that stuff at the self checkout. And then we're going to get on the train. But look at her vlogging in public and not giving a oop. Okay? All right. I don't want to do it, but it's not worth it. Okay, this is where the price kills, but let's do it. outside of Whole Foods and also I'm so happy that I went there because girl do you know I would have totally forgot that I needed that soap for the dogs I literally stretched the last little bit this morning in with water because it was just a tiny bit anyway I needed it like days ago and I've been stretching it and literally I stretched it 
to the point that you could not stretch it anymore today. So that was all a blessing in disguise because I completely forgot. Now I am one of those people now where it's like, I need to start making a list when I'm going to shop for things because I get, I don't know what happens. I get there and I'll be like, wait, what I here, what am I here for? What did I come here for, Miss Mama? And then my brain is just giving doo 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 doo. -doo. <laughs> but we're headed on the train and then we're gonna head back to Brooklyn. Thank God. And I will see you there. Okay, we are home off the train. Walk into the apartment building. Oh, it feels so good out tonight. I don't know what I did to deserve this weather. I'm like. Why are you pulling me around, Lucy May? Come on, let's go. Lucy May. Hello. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh. I finally got some good sleep last night. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I finally got some good sleep. I am feeling a lot better today. Um, you know what? Um, I'm not feeling depressed at all. And I made myself a cup of coffee this morning and then I was like, I took one sip of it. First of all, there's signs everything. Let me just tell you that. Yesterday, I made a cup of coffee in the morning and I do this every morning. I've been doing it forever. I made a cup of coffee yesterday morning and the creamer that I like, that brown sugar creamer from Trader Joe's that, that has like a ton of sugar in it that I should not even be drinking. Um, I put it in there yesterday and something in my eye. Oh, I put it in there yesterday and it like started doing that oat milk thing where it like becomes oatmeal. And I was, I can't drink it when it's like that. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's normal. You know, that's what oat milk does. I'm like, no girl. I have oat milk when it doesn't do that. And when it does do that to me, it resembles curdled milk too much that I can't do it. So I threw it away. Now, I thought maybe the water was too hot in the coffee. Maybe the coffee was too hot. And I know that that's happened before where the coffee's like steaming because the Nespresso, you know, the, when you make coffee in Nespresso, it's not hot. I mean, it's warm. It, it'll never burn you. It's not hot. And I like my coffee hot. So I put it, after I brew it, I put it in the microwave just for a few seconds. Put the milk in, it curdled up, I threw it away. I thought it was because the, it was too hot. So I did, so I had green tea. I noticed that yesterday I did not have a cup of coffee. I only had a cup of green tea. My energy stayed the same all day. I didn't have that high and that low. I didn't crash and I felt good. And the day went by. I wasn't like struggling through it. So I had that in mind, but also I was like, okay, I have a couple pods left. So let me go ahead and just use them and then make the transition. I've been wanting to make this transition for a while. So I made a cup of coffee this morning. The milk did the same thing. So I was like, okay. And I didn't put it in the microwave this time. So I said, okay, this is the sign. So I took a sip, threw it away. And then, well, I took a sip first, just so you don't think I'm gross. I took a sip first. And then, you know, it takes time for that to happen. And then I said, especially when it's not real, real hot. And then I set the coffee down. When I look back over, it was doing it. So I got rid of it. And I was like, okay, this is a sign to have the green tea. So I had another green tea today. And yeah, I think I'm going to kick coffee. I don't want to make that promise to myself because, bro, I don't know. But 
If I get through the day and I feel as good as I did yesterday, where I don't have a, peak, a high and a low, and my energy stays pretty consistent, and I can sleep tonight, then it's a win. Then it's a win, win, win. Then it's a win. Then it's a win. Then it's a. Did y'all see? Let me show you this. This. Um, let me show you this post that was posted this morning by Lisa Ray. It was posted by Portia, but it's by Lisa Ray. When I tell you this, I've watched it several times. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna actually use it too. Look, hold on. What's going on? I'm a stressed person. I'm not a worried person. I have knowledge and, and experience behind me. I'm mature. I'm marinated. I'm still sexy. I look good and I'm working. I'm getting paid. So, hey. <laughs> so, hey. Okay. I'm not a stressed person. I'm not a worried person. And I look good. And I'm sexy. And I got knowledge behind me. And I'm working. So, I'm getting paid. Hey. That's the ruler. Thing. That is everything. Oh, today's July 2nd. Today's July 2nd. July 4th is coming up. So obviously we get really kind of down on holidays. Don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll go to the beach. Maybe we'll go to a park and try to find a cookout or something. I don't know. Times like this, I wish I had family or just like black community that like was like family so I can like that because I those are the memories I have for the this holiday, you know, just like cookouts, the the electric slide. I mean, and I'm talking about cookouts that went all day long, you know, that culture, honey. And they were at our, my family, my grandmother's house, so they would start in the morning. I mean, you well, we were up at the crack of dawn, helping, preparing, doing all that. The cooking, there's a a cookout is just not barbecuing on the grill, honey. There is a lot of cooking that happens in in the house. So there's cooking all morning and just preparing for the barbecue that people start coming. You know, your family comes earlier. So people start really arriving like at 11, 10, 11, 12. Cookout starts around 12, 1, and then it just goes. And then at the end of the night, everyone's drunk. My aunt's drunk. My uncles are drunk. They're just dancing, talking crap. The music is going, all the oldies but goodies. Those are some good times. And my family was one of the families that didn't really end their cookouts with a fight. So, but I've seen that with other people's families and stuff in the neighborhood. But my family wasn't like that. My family was like, we had our fights like one-on-one -on -one to inside, you know? It wasn't even like a spectacle of a fight for the whole family to be involved in. They were like, you know, they were kind of like, Sometimes people would not be speaking to each other and stuff like that, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like a fight. So we always ended those cookouts like with the electric slide and people being drunk and people going home. It was just I miss those days. I miss those days so much. So think of me when you're with your family doing your cookouts this year for Fourth of July. Think of me. Have a plate for me. Do an electric slide for me. Boogie woogie woogie. You know that you know it. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. No acting. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You got the move. Boogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get on these streets. It feels so good out here today. Another, another beautiful day oh, you've got to know it it's electric boogie woogie woogie think that you feel something something everywhere I'm so embarrassed that I don't know the words to that song but I know the rhythm but I know the rhythm it's the rhythm that gives us fever. It's the rhythm. <laughs> Y'all. <sighs> this is why we think taking golf for weather like this. So beautiful. We're gonna get on the train. And see, this is why, this is it. I just missed a whole heap of poop right there. I don't know if you can see it, but 
Well, in New York, you have to be looking down. You can't be like they say, head to the sky, keep your head up, keep your head up. Honey, you're in New York, you better keep your head down and make sure you're not stepping in dog poop because it's everywhere. People do not pick up after their dogs. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And especially in Brooklyn. I mean, it's bad in Manhattan, but in Brooklyn, honey, duh. I mean, people have big, big dogs. And they just like, cause you get more space in Brooklyn. So people have big dogs and they just like, let their dogs just poop on the street. And I would be so embarrassed. Like I would not be able to just keep walking. It's not okay. But that's the reality. Guys, we're getting on the train. You can hear it down there now. We're getting on the train, headed into the city to do this day. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Everybody's running. I'm not running. That train is well, that's not for me. I will wait for the next. Thank you. The day is over y'all it is 5 15 and i've had a full day i have not popped my head out not once today so it's a full day of work and i'm headed home to see what's going on um how's everyone doing today today's tuesday but we're going into the fourth of july weekend and i didn't realize that so many people take off the whole week of 4th of July because I don't know if you guys see this but these streets are not they are not giving what they give this time of day I mean people are away already and I'm like what a luxury it must be to live a life where you can just say oh I'm gonna take the full week off and go away for 4th of July I mean maybe it's not that much of a luxury maybe people are actually this is their planned vacation and we all get that. So let me take that back because I don't know what they're doing. But it just seems like the perfect time to be away. For me, I don't necessarily like to go away when it's hot because I like the heat, I like the summer. I love the summer in New York. So I don't necessarily need to go away in the summer. But in the winter time to break up the winter, I absolutely love to go away to somewhere warm and sunny, tropical. I feel like that's what most black people do because um, we love that. But yeah, I'm just headed home. I'm not gonna do any errands today. I'm just going to take my butt home, do what I have to do and enjoy my evening. So I'll see you guys at home maybe. You're so welcome. Okay, bad vlogger guys, I just stopped at uh, Petco to get my dogs some bully sticks. Now, I probably should have vlogged with you guys, but also I just had a realization that I needed to get some things from there. So, hi, I wish I don't have any cash. But well, next time, next time, I promise, I promise. Um, I... We're gonna do an actual day going in there and doing a haul because I'm gonna get them some things. So that might be fun. How many people do pet co hauls? Not many. Train. I mean, I don't know. If I've ever seen a pet co haul, maybe I should look it up before I start saying who does it. Alright, guys, my train is here, so I'm gonna run for it. <laughs> we gotta go because it's. Alright. Okay, so that train's too crowded. We are going to wait for another one. Okay, well, that was an hour. Maybe not an hour, maybe like 40 minutes. I'm forever exaggerating. 
So we're back, we're home. The day is over. It's been a lovely, lovely Tuesday. Um, I'm gonna give the doggies their little bones that I bought for them. And, well, maybe I'll surprise them after dinner with it. We'll see. So the whole time I was on the train just now, I was just wondering, I wonder what my life would be like if I was going home to a husband. Better, probably a lot better than it is now. More fulfilled. But who knows, I'm sure there's someone like, girl, please. I, so, well, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I feel like I don't have anything else to say today. So I'll just say, have a good day and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy, happy Sunday. It's been a couple days. I haven't seen you guys, but let's just get into this day. We have a lot of stuff to do, so you won't be disappointed. We're heading into the coffee shop now. We're going to get us a nice iced Americano and get this day started. Good news is I have not been drinking coffee at all and I felt so much better, especially at work, but let's see what happens. Check the fit, guys. It's giving, y'all know I give Brooklyn um, bum when I'm doing things. Okay, we got an iced Americano with a tad bit of almond milk. I'm gonna stop drinking. Oh, it has a lot of calories. And this is from Hungry Ghost Coffee. I actually like them. Fun story, when I came to, I always come to this Trader Joe's every Sunday. I'm kind of a creature of habit. Routine is my life. I'm a Capricorn. If you know, you know. I come to this Trader Joe's every Sunday. One Sunday I came here, usually I try to be the first to get in. I'm a few minutes late now because literally there's a line to get in before it opens because, you know, it's Brooklyn. People have the same mindset. So, I mean, people do not have the same mindset, but like things like this, people, if you know, you know. So I get there a few minutes early one day and it's inside of this place. I'm gonna show you the coffee shop I'm talking about here in a minute. I go to the coffee shop, she's there to get a coffee. She's like, I don't open until like whatever, eight, whatever time it was. Literally there was a minute on the clock, a minute. And she was just so nasty about it. You could tell, I was like, wow, this is a sign of someone who is not happy in their life. They're making no efforts to find happiness in their life and what they're gonna do is just spread that negativity with every human, every soul that they come in contact with every day. So I ended up walking out of it. I was like, you know what? I, I was about to say something, like, but, but I, I'm not that girl. I don't do that. I'm like, you know what? That's, have your moment. <laughs> Cause you're not, that's not gonna jump on my spirit. So I was like, I don't have a thought. I was like, you know what? There are so many coffee shops in Brooklyn. I know this, why would I? I literally just walked out, walked around the corner, found Hungry Ghost, and every time I come here, it's a walk. It's like a two block walk. Every time I come here, I have to go to Hungry Ghost if it's this time of morning, and then, and then go into there. Meanwhile, there's a whole coffee shop right in front of Trader Joe's, but I haven't seen that girl again. She probably was quitting or getting fired or something, I don't know. But I haven't seen her since, but I still won't go back there because that kind of just, you know, I work hard for my money. You have to understand something. It has not been easy for me. It is still isn't easy for me. As a black trans woman, making it in this world is very, very hard. And I am not a statistic. So let's be clear about that. So what I, I work extra hard, like double time to, to, to get my life. And I'm still working on it because I want a really, really grand life. So I'm not gonna give my money, whether it's four or $5, whatever, to some company that, ha that has someone working for them that's rude and disrespectful like just not gonna do it all right I won't take you guys in with me because we've done that so many vlogs now I'm just gonna go in and do what we have to do and then I will see you guys on the other side of it wait I have to take the first sip I didn't even take a sip with you guys let's see what it's like it's really really strong Ooh, it's gonna be a day all right also this is the coffee shop right here oh that is the girl actually no, that's not her, it's a different girl. So it's Cafe Sagion. Hold on. Ooh! 
All right, y'all, we are all dressed and ready to go. We're going to Soul Summit. Now, I know what you might be thinking. You might be saying, Brandy, we've already seen this outfit. Well, you're right and you're wrong. You've seen this outfit, but you haven't seen these shorts. <laughs> So the same bathing suit top, it's really, really hot. I'm in Brooklyn. I have no capacity for feeling uncomfortable today. I'm going out to Soul Summit. You guys know Soul Summit is a complete freaking hoot. It's house music, so it's dirty. It's grunge. It's old school. Um, I am going to take an Oxford, like a, like a, like a top. I am going to take like a button up with me in my bag. Just wait a minute. Oh just in case like you know i go get something to eat afterwards or anything like that i'm not really sure what it's giving i'm going by myself i'm going by myself i haven't eaten anything today i had coffee and then i had a little bit of breakfast but you guys know my diet is kind of weird so um i'll probably get dinner before coming home and i don't know if i'll sit down and do that or bring it with me so i am taking a top with me i'm riding the city bike through the city with my bikini and my shorts it's very brooklyn it is what it is but yeah that's what we're doing today i cannot wait to show you what that looks like i'm taking you guys with me of course of course you're coming with me happy sunday of course the vlog didn't go out today because we're doing this and also i'm kind of two days behind so I don't know how we're how we'll catch up to our Sunday schedule, but we will do our best. Um, yeah, so let's just get out the door. Bella's meeting me. Bella's coming later. I'm not staying all night, so I'm just going for, you know, maybe an hour or two. Depends on what it's giving. I'm sure I will run into people I know there because I do know people who go to this event as well. So yeah, but that's it. It's Sunday church was so good the potter's house rocked my world today today was their i forget the number i think it was the 28th today was their 28th anniversary and it was just incredible oh my god it was so incredible the it was the um, um an old soldier that was the title of it. if you get a chance and you're on youtube go watch that ceremony by the potter's house td jakes the the bishop today there was a guest bishop i mean he was he killed it so you guys should definitely go see that it definitely rocked my world i'm feeling so great and i cannot wait oh okay let's go let's go let's go all right honey loves i have just arrived i parked the bike let me think, let me tell you it seems like everyone took the city bike here so it's extremely impossible to park them so i spent literally 15 minutes trying to find parking but we have arrived so let's see what is really going on and i did okay so this is about to be a, a moment in time always bella's on the way and then one other friend is coming so a lot of copyright music so a lot of what you're going to see is just going to be like a little montage so let's see what happens so we're going to take these really really big stairs which should be so cute and we'll see
Okay, let's have just a little bit of an update. So it's hot as the devil's pit back there. Hold on, I think we have a pose. I was just inside at the thing. And when I tell you it's absolutely bonkers, if you see me sweating, you know that you know that you know. I'm about to see if, I'm about to see if we can um, potentially mingle with some people. I'm not quite sure what we'll get into, but we shall. We'll just do a little spin around the park. I'll show you guys all of this stuff. Oh, let me check and see if Bella has texted yet. Let's see, I'm gonna turn everything around for you. You peep the aesthetic, it's hard to forget it. I hear you talking, but you're hardly right. I'm the voice of your prototype. Mm. Summertime and why? Alright guys, I just ran into a really, really good friend. This is my Aunt Deshaun Hi. here at Soul Summit. I told you guys, Soul Summit is a vibe, it's love, it's black love, it's ambition, it's all of the things. She just moved to New York, so we're going to catch up about talking all this good stuff. So I'll pick you guys back up in a minute and love show you, guys. you some more of the shitty giddy Hi, so Wendy's, where y'all from? So, so, Indies. Indies. Yeah, live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets, let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch. If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies. And these girls going wild cause they flashing they titties. It's Liddy. Watch your steps cause these blocks be shitty. We grew up on that bad boy in 96 with Diddy. Take a walk, come with me. Let me show you what really go down. Fiends on the corner, every hood got a deli of crowns. Cops pull us over, it don't matter if you black or you brown. City never sleeps, this the place the way hip hop was found. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals 
on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York I look around as I'm viewing the city Skyscrapers and bridges, bright lights, fast life, Manhattan living Cross over downtown, welcome to the concrete The Nets to Barclays, the Mets to Yankees Ubers in yellow taxis And why am I fitted with some butters? We her savvy when tight jeans was baggy From JFK to LaGuardia City that never sleeps insomnia Home of Junior Mafia, word Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York Brooklyn, Brooklyn So we have made it back to the end. This is like actually there's a lot of it. I don't want to miss the moment of what's going down for my vlog, darling. Love me back though, girl, but I love him. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on two doors in my coupe. I look better under you, girl. I love you, you my truth. The OJ with that juice, got that magic daddy yeah. too. Tell me what you tryna yeah. do. Look, look, I'm hotter than ten. Check out my phone and you calling the kid. Pull up outside and you all in the bench. Keeping it up, I don't need the extends. Running it back and again and again. It is so good, got you telling your friends. You late for work, stuck in traffic again. Do not disturb, now we off at the grid. Mm, mm. Who does it better? Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on. So I didn't light it properly, but you want to catch, you want to hold a long ash. And so it's, it wasn't lit properly. But I'm smoking, this is a blondie. Your local cigar store. It's a blondie. And a blondie, so I'm a, a, a light smoker. Um, you do light to medium, medium to heavy. I'm still light to medium. But it does give you a very nice little situation. It's free. It's a free book. It's free online. If people wanted to get it, where would they go to? Okay, okay, Where? Tell me. Presencealmanac.org. Okay. Every book is free to view online. I do it once a month. Awesome. You have an Instagram? Yeah. yeah. It's Presence Almanac. Got it. Your Instagram. Yeah, everything. Perfect. Yeah, everything. It's where I show, I show living artists showing new work right now. It is a mailing list, yeah. This person took a lot of space, start there. That's okay. So yeah, I'm very proud of you. Everyone says that I need to start writing, and I'm like, fuck you. Fuck you. I am Michael, I'm the Game Traveler, and I am running nomadgay.com, which is a blog.
talk about gay travels all around the world, all over the world, talk about South America, Asia, Europe, all over the place. So I'll be writing about all my different experiences as a black gay man, even all the relationship experiences, like the sound of the where you can find the guy, the boy. So go to nomadgay.com and sign up today. It's Nomad Gay, and this is my newsletter. Alright guys, I am back at Morgan's. We're getting the famous brisket nachos that we absolutely loved. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do and then we're headed home. So hot, we had so much fun at Soul Summit. We danced, we met so many different people, we walked, we drank. Ah, oh, what a time, a time was had. I am going to enjoy these nachos. I will not have a drink. Not even thinking about it. Maybe. We'll see. It's called being a wine Yeah. Alcohol is poison. It is. And a lot of people don't realize that. Oh, Alright guys, those are the nachos. But those are the brisket nachos that we had last time. So good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. So Summit was a complete bop. I had those. So first of all, So Summit was so good. It was so amazing to see so much. Just like culture. You know what I mean? I used to think of it as like black culture, but I've learned last year, but especially yesterday. So Summit is just a very inclusive event. And it's just... It's amazing. It's amazing. One of the reasons that I absolutely love living in Brooklyn is reasons like that. Um, Brooklyn has this very rich in like culture thing. And I think a lot of people moved to Brooklyn from Manhattan and all over the world, all over the, all over the country to be a part of like Bro Brooklyn has a culture. It's really a freaking vibe. I had so much fun yesterday. I didn't get nearly as much footage as I could have because I filmed, but I also was living in the moment too, if that makes sense. It was kind of like things were just happening off camera that were just so natural. And I was so present in that moment that I didn't even have the thought, oh my God, let me take this camera out. And the times that I did have that thought, I felt like, is it going to be awkward to just pull my camera out and ask the people or person that I'm talking to if it's okay to film? So it just, it didn't, it wasn't as, next time I go, there will be another one this summer. Next time I go, I'm going to like put myself on like a, um, a schedule. Like I'm going to film probably the later half of it because that's when there's a lot going on. But I'm going to have time to film and then time to just be because um, I met so many new people. I felt like I was really valued, seen, and appreciated in that space. So shout out to Soul Summit Music. Shout out to everyone that was there, all of the new people that I met. I met some of y'all there. Like That's crazy to me that I can be at an event and people come up to me and say, oh my God, I love your vlogs. I'm watching your vlogs. It's just like, it's just a reminder that my vlogs are actually doing something and they're actually meaning something to people and people are tuning into them. People are liking my content. And that was so great to get that re reassurance yesterday at Soul Summit. Highlights for me was the double dutch. Like that was so nostalgic. I felt like when I was a kid, I used to jump double dutch all the time. I didn't dare try yesterday because no one was succeeding at it. Everyone was like getting caught up in the, and they were doing it with the old school, um, what do you call it? Um, phone lines, phone lines. Cause back in the day you would plug your phone into a wall. If, if it was in the house, your landline, the phone cord. So they were doing it with the phone cords. And we used to do that too when we were young. Those things would skin you alive. But yeah, so someone was a bop. I, was, I met up with Bella there. 
I love Bella and we had such a good time. It was a little chaotic in the beginning, but then the vibe came and I thought I wanted to leave early. We actually stayed really, really late to the fact that when we went to find food after everything was closed. I was like, wait a minute, this is Brooklyn. Why are things closed? But it was a Sunday. So they closed at like 10 and we ended up getting some food because the, the barbecue place didn't close until 1045. So we were lucky in that respect, but it was such a vibe. I'm so happy I went. Thank you guys so much for going with me. Shout out to all the people that took the time to talk on my camera. I mean, I think there's maybe one or two people that are shot that I'm shouting out here. Um, and they did put their stuff in. So I hope you guys saw that. Check them out. It's artists. It's artistry. And yeah, today I feel great. I just woke up. I am going to get my day started. I don't know what I'm going to do today, but yeah, I'm just going to get my day started here and start the next vlog because it's Monday. You know, you guys know now my days have been shifted back a little bit because I usually post on Sundays and I want to get back to that. But right now I'm not on Sunday because um, last week I posted on Wednesday. So this vlog probably will be live on Wednesday as well. But yeah, and I'm just so grateful for. So thank you guys. This is the end of the vlog, but it has been great. I feel great again. I am back to myself lots of things coming up guys lots of things coming up this summer and yeah remember we grow we grow we grow so we're continuing to grow thank you guys so much for your support if you're not currently subscribed to this channel please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe i mean you've made it all the way to this part of the video you might as well go ahead and subscribe it helps me tremendously i am almost at two thousand subscribers which is huge the next big goal is 5k so we're on that track so make sure you guys are engaging with the content go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're watching it and you're liking it and a comment the thing is the engagement really sort of dictates how the content grows so that thumbs up means everything honestly that thumbs up really means everything and i have to consciously get better at that too because i watch a lot of vlogs myself and I watch them on my TV as I'm like doing things in the apartment. And I watch them all the time. Now, I know the view means more than the thumbs up. But why not go ahead and boost my view with a thumbs up if it helps that content creator? So I would love it if you guys gave this video a thumbs up. Share it to your friends. Share it to your family. Share it to anybody that you think needs to see my content. And yeah thank you guys so much i love you guys so much i can't wait to see you in the next vlog and i will see you guys in the next vlog.